I'm about to take a test flight in a centrifuge that will produce the pressures on the human body experienced during a space flight. Okay, here we go. We're ready to fire this thing up or putting power in the drive systems. You're gonna hear some noises, some vibration, rumbling, and you're gonna feel the gun go twitch as it self levels. That's all normal, okay? The simulator recreates exactly the G-forces that passengers will feel on future flights of Virgin Galactic's Spaceship 2. Okay, you're at our idle speed of 1.4G. You're all set to go. George, you ready? I am ready. George is set. Glenn set. Jose set. Here we go. Here we go. Release from Light Night 2 in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. How do you feel? Ah, it feels cool. It feels cool. How's your peripheral vision? Ah, pretty good. Pretty good. No loss of color? No. No gray? Firing sequence starts in three, two, one. The pressure on my body is like nothing I've ever experienced before. beginning to feel the onset of G-lock. Five. Six. But I use my newly learned breathing technique to control the effects. OK, clear. OK, G's are coming back down. You're back down to idle. How'd that feel? What a wild experience. All right, buddy. Thank you. Good job. Good job. My training here has taught me a lot about how to deal with gravity during a space flight. But there's one more ingenious way to counter the effects of high G-force on the human body. Electrocardiogram. Have you had any After a medical test from aviation doctor Randy Knipping, I'm ready to test out the G-suit, a device first developed by Canadian doctors and engineers during World War II. The way the G-suit really operates is there's a sensor inside the jet that determines what G-force you're under, and then it will respond by blasting a certain amount of compressed air into the suit, inflating, pushing against your legs, and forcing the blood back up to your brain where your body really needs it. The G-suit revolutionized the way fighter pilots could fly, so I'm going to get back in another centrifuge and see for myself how it works. With the G-suit in place, they're able to crank up the centrifuge. And using the anti-G strain maneuver in this technology, I'm able to withstand more G-force than ever. All right, you're done. That was a wild ride. I tell you, there's so much physical force involved. Pushing down, straining, the breathing, it is not easy. If you think that you could be a Top Gun pilot, you gotta sit in this seat and try it out firsthand before you ever go up in the air.